status effects. You love them, right? Well, in Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2, they are particularly offensive in more ways than one. You can use them against your opponents in this game, but you can also suffer a lot of very, very crucial mistakes if you happen to get hit with one and don't really know what to do. So this video serves to educate all of you who don't know what all of these weird symbols mean. If you enjoy this kind of content, please be sure to hit subscribe and stay tuned because I got a massive combat overview coming very, very soon. With that being said, let's get into it. Air Toss is first, and its main function is to send you hurtling into the air and then slowly free-falling like Sora does in almost every Kingdom Hearts opening cinematic. While airborne, you, or in this case your opponent, are susceptible to double damage from regular strikes, and sometimes even triple that if you use thunder spells while they have that tornado symbol above their head. You can inflict air toss on your foes by way of any arrow spell, but personally I've had the most luck with Aurora. Blind is like if that blindfold that Riku wears actually inhibited his vision and combat ability in any way instead of just making him look like a total badass with aura that Gojo only wishes he could copy. This is a status effect that you unfortunately can't turn against your enemies, but you can be prepared to avoid it. All of the flower type Heartless can inflict this status effect by means of a seed spat forward from their stupid heads, causing the player to land next to no physical attacks. If you ever find yourself struck under this spell, you can try using a few of your own, with fire being particularly effective on their flowery forms, or if you find yourself fresh out of fire spells, you can often deflect their seeds back at them. Damage Drain functions like it does in Pokemon. An enemy of water type variety hits you with an attack, and they heal from the same amount of damage taken. I find this pretty interesting because there's no water element of magic in the game, but these Heartless still exist, but we'll get more into that later. Jolt is a fine little effect to have, but honestly, I so rarely see it in this game, due to Thunder Spells almost always instantly destroying smaller mobs, that it was a little hard to get footage of it. It's inflicted by Thunder type attacks, and causes the victim to receive double damage from coming into contact with enemies or other party members. The effect doesn't linger half as long as others in the video, but we're still going to count it. Flip foot functions pretty much exactly the same as confusion. Your controls become inverted, and you can't lock onto enemies. You'll mostly get the status effect from the wonderful little mimics known as symbol monkeys that hide in chests, but I've often gotten hit with it by some other foes as well. It's a little tricky, but not at all a hindrance to the game experience if you know the trick to playing with inverted controls. Plus, it's more fun to say flip foot than it is to say confused, so there you go. Freeze is fun if you like ice and freezing your opponents in their tracks, but ice type foes will do the same, so you better beware of that. By using Blizzard, Blizzara, or Blizzaga, you can instantly stop the approach of any foe that isn't a world boss. Blizzara is probably the most effective to achieve freeze and is even better when you follow it up with a fire-based attack for some massive damage. Ignite is probably the second most common status effect you'll see in the game because of all of the fire magic you will inevitably be using. By casting any of the three tiers of fire spells you have available, you can light up your enemy of choice like a Christmas tree on New Year's Day. The burning effect chips away at you or your opponent's HP, but if you have some ice to put on that burn, you'll do more harm than good to them. Stacking magic in this game is just simply broken, I don't know what to say. Half HP is basically your opponent saying fuck you and your HP, I'm taking half of it. It comes from being hit by the sudden and hidden magic type of the earth element. Yes, there are hidden magic types in this game, and the player can't see or use these. Which brings me to... Rewind Defense will give this little level 1 shield symbol above the player's head, and when it is, you best watch your HP, because you might as well be as squishy as when you were level 1. You are putting on a silver platter, my friend. The effect is caused by time magic types. Similarly, Null Defense does pretty much the same thing, but there's no symbol, and any Heartless of the neutral type or normal type in Pokemon terms can hit you without any regard to your defense stat. Another rarely seen status effect, Radar Zap. Basically, light-based attacks have the chance to turn off your map entirely, scrambling it so that you can't see anything on it. But this honestly doesn't really affect the game much unless you're fighting the Lurk Lizard, who will turn invisible sometimes, and the only way you know its location is by sound or the marker on your map within the second screen. Shoe Glue, another funny name, might as well be called Ball and Chain the way it keeps you stuck to the ground. You cannot jump while under the influence of this status effect, and it honestly, it's probably the second most annoying one right behind Blind. To avoid this, I'd recommend dodging any kind of attack where a large armor jumps into the air and then crashes onto you or, in layman's terms, space-type attacks. That will save you some headaches, trust me. Finally, the best for last is Silence. 
a moon type status effect which is fitting for someone like Syax that prevents the user from using any magic. This sucks a lot since a lot of Daze's combat revolves around using magic spells to counter the many different typings within the game that most people don't even know about, but thankfully there are some other solutions. As you are no doubt aware by now, you as the player are at a disadvantage in the magic category. You can only use 5 types including Cure, and the Heartless, in all of their marvelous variety, have 13. While it's impossible to learn all of these typings and turn these difficult stats effects against them, there is a way to completely nullify them all. Within the Moogle Shop, after completing the game's main story, you can synthesize the 13 Resistance Rings. Each ring gives you 100% resistance to any one of the different magic types. One to match each member of the Organization 13's magic specialties. Yes, I know that for many of you, after completing the game, there may not be much point, but if you plan on doing the challenge missions, they are very much worth it. The only catch, unfortunately, is that you can only equip one ring at a time, so if you want the full resistance to everything all at once, it's time to grind for the Master's Circle, an all-powerful ring to rule them all. Complete resistance to all elements. All it takes to get this wonderful little piece is 358 mission crowns from the day's multiplayer mode, which you, you can do solo, or with some friends, preferably. And if all else fails, or you don't have time for any of that, then my friend, it's time to put the most underutilized item in any Kingdom Hearts game to use. That's right, pull out the panacea, problem solved. Anyway, I hope this video was enlightening to you and it helps you out in your future endeavors within Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2, and I've been your humble host, Key. Catching you next time. Peace.